here we have a switch app so let's uh, look at the features that is offering uh, for premium so when we try to go to this premium section we can see it has uh, some premium features enable encryption password protection and all in settings when i try to use this option it comes up with a pop up uh, saying uh, upgrade to premium so let's try to bypass this i'll go to apk editor and uh, decompile this app so after decompiling first i need to find some uh, entry point so that i can start cracking so i can uh, move forward with the flow of the program or flow of the code here i think it is the best uh, entry point we can see the premium feature this dialogue, dialogue is a uh, best entry point for me i think uh, i'll try to search for this uh, premium feature text in uh, this which app i'll say premium feature so when i search premium uh, i found few values uh, okay so we have uh, many occurrence of uh, premium uh, keyword i need to find the word where i actually want that we can see here we have uh, many strings i need a uh, premium actual premium feature we can see here we found a premium feature text here this is the actual string which we actually required we can observe here premium feature so it's in string uh, now i'll copy this uh, string name and uh, try to find out its id so that i can search uh, where it is actually used in smally so i click save uh, sorry i'll copy this name now i'll trying to find that uh, string name because i need to find its id so its id actually it will be in uh, public xml premium feature oh, we found it here you can observe premium feature its id is uh, this thing i'll copy its id now i'll decompile uh, its uh, text files now we'll search for that id in uh, smally files so we found two occurrences so this uh, public not xml it's none of concern for us now so in this uh, we found uh, e dollar 1 dot smally see when we observe where it is actually being used or you can uh, analyze the code you can observe that uh, dialog interface you can observe here dialog interface and show you can see so i am uh, pretty sure that uh, it's a dialog code of that uh, what we are seeing you can see it's on click method that is uh, when something is click it is showing so that is what is mean right so another thing is that we can see the name of smally file it's e dollar 1 so whenever it is uh, having some dollar 1 dollar 2 so it's all mostly the it's mostly the instance of uh, any class let's say we have two on click methods for uh, any particular class then it will have two dollar like two smally files like e dollar 1 e dollar 2 so it's a thing it's actually been now i need to find where it is actually being called so i'll copy this uh, smally file path now i found uh, many occurrences of this class you can see it's mostly dollar 1 dollar 2 so it is none of our concern as i said it's actually the new instance of class 
I need to find where is actually called so where it is actually created so it will obviously be in here or somewhere so let's try out where it's actually called it's not here it's not here we'll verify here but in here as I said in main smally that is e dot small is the actual main smally so if e dot small let's uh, let us consider if e dot small has uh, three on click methods then it will have three uh, other instance of class you can see it is calling the new instance dollar e1 I'm pretty sure that uh, it's the code we are searching for you can see it's uh, calling on click listener that is whenever I click something so the new instance of that class is created I mean the new dialog uh, is created and popped out oh, when, uh, so to bypass this uh, as you know it's uh, very simple so the code lies here right the dialog code lies here I need to jump from here to somewhere let's see the start of this method is here so when I'll uh, go through here so condition 13 it's here so I'll directly jump this code to condition 13 so that uh, this code will be skipped so it's a simple change I'll make here go to so now let's save it this file is saved now let's build this So now let's try to use this uh, settings. You can see these are actually working. So it's now not asking for any premium feature. You can see this all these uh, all these features are working uh, perfectly in this uh, app. You can see here. So that's it for uh, this video.